is important also when raising money because it gives confidence to investors that all the risks are under control, that the knowledge has been managed uh, correctly, that all the major markets, including the European markets, are uh, covered and under the exclusive control of the, of the IP owner, and that eventually there is uh, something that ensures the competitive advantage to, to, to the company in such a competitive and, and fast-growing fast growing market. Um, I think this is important. The IP story is important because the IP story is a collaboration between uh, these, uh, all these players, the, the individuals, the TTOs, Inovia, Politecnico and, and Blue Break. Uh, the TTO, of course, uh, did his job as a facilitator, not as a bottleneck. This is very important because you work here under severe uncertainty conditions. You work here uh, with the running clock that says the market is approaching. You have to reach it as soon as possible. Don't waste time into useless discussions about uh, about intellectual property and legal details. Uh, but what was also important, I think, this collaboration under two possible respects. First of all, uh, in Italy, we have uh, still the professor's privilege, the rule that allows individual researchers to retain the ownership of intellectual property. So these people working within the Polytechnic might have taken a different path. They might have patented themselves and done something, something else. And it didn't happen. So uh, eventually the TTO, Inovia and the Polytechnic were good to create a convincing ecosystem that individual ownership is not the most viable solution when you deal in with uh, with such a complex go-to market and second i think they did this interesting thing of filing a joint application uh so the first patent if you go on estance.net uh the first patent application is between polytechnic of milan and blue break uh co-ownership is typically scary if it is not Manage if it's not regulated because it creates anti-common situations and uncertainty. They were good enough to file jointly and put this joint uh, ownership within a framework of collaboration, where Inovia initially and then Blue Break are uh, taking care of of the patent, covering costs, deciding what would have been the uh, strategy in terms of geographic markets and a number of other decisions that needs to be taken uh, along, along the way. And this was also instrumental in uh, growing the uh, patent portfolio because the company kept filing patent applications. Uh, I think right now Blue Break has over uh, probably 12 patent families, uh, which is a significant uh, patent, patent portfolio and they know they realized quite well that uh, patent protection is not something that um, is not a work that is concluded as you file the, the patent application it's a it's a long journey that requires many many strategic decisions including uh, keeping the technology roadmap and the patent protection aligned uh, because as we have seen the technology evolves over time out of the Milan Polytechnic, out of the laboratories, there was the uh, ABS Generation 1, now the company has Generation 2, and then possibly Generation 3. All these uh, milestones are met with uh, the idea of improving, uh, improving patent protection. This case reminds us that uh, intellectual property is about people, right? It's about yeah. the intelligence of people, and I think of course, uh, I don't think it's uh, it's a coincidence that all this happened within the Milan Polytechnic, which is a strong tradition of collaboration. It's a polytechnic, of course, mm. and they have a strong tradition of collaboration. Uh, of course, the group of control systems, um, it, it, it's very hands-on into uh, uh, applied science, so they, they, they solve problems, right? And mm. I think the involvement of PhD was uh, a very nice um, component of this success story because uh, PhD students um, 
I think like, particularly in engineering studies, they like to see that they're doing something that has an impact on the market. They, they like to see their technology and their work into operation. And I think uh, they were just given the opportunity to do that, right? They, mm -hmm. they were working on control systems for braking systems. Uh, there is a e bikes market growing. There is a problem, let's fix the problem. That, this is what engineers do. And they do it in a very uh, entrepreneurial way by, by taking stakes into the development as, as the story of Fabio actually shows. You see on the website of Inovia, they uh, make this strong statement. They say that they, as company builder, they mm -hmm. can go from lab to market in 18 months, not to market, let's say from lab, from outside lab, which is not yet the market, but eventually their development cycle is 18 months. Mm -hmm. um, I think that is a strong and ideal statement as you move into practice, it takes longer, particularly because this is deep tech, right? And there mm -hmm. are always unexpected occurrences in the development. Um, something can happen, you know, the company was closing a series A round uh, within the pandemic. This is, was clearly unexpected but it changes quite a lot, the plans, because the company was developing the system, uh, the ABS system uh, with foreign partners. And this development requires interaction. Now, at some point, you cannot take airplanes anymore. You cannot fly uh, into the countries where your partners are. And there is an interaction that is necessary, physical interaction that caused uh, eventually a delay, which the company was resilient enough to catch up with, so they are back on track, but this thing happens. And of course, there were technical challenges along the road, because if you see the components uh, of the braking system, there is a, this, the microchip, which is very small, but then you have the battery system, you have the sensor, everything must be adjusted into a, the frame of the bike without changing too much the production system, without changing too much the weight, without changing too much the balance of the brake. So there are a number of things that require time. Overall, if you think from, uh, from the creation of Blue Brake 2015 to the Series A round 2025 years is a remarkable uh, mm -hmm. uh, path. Uh, that reminds us that deep tech requires time, even under the most favorable conditions, it requires time. Inovia is still working with uh, Milan mm -hmm. Polytechnic, they're working on other opportunities, and of course, uh, Blue Break is still working with the Milan Polytechnic, Professor Savaresi is involved mm -hmm. into the development of the company, but also uh, they see the connection with Milan, Milan Polytechnic as an opportunity to hire smart people. They need, uh, I think there are more than 20 engineers working in Blue Break. There is a constant, mm. need, constant need of very well trained and skilled people and the interaction with uh, the research institutions prove that uh, it is actually a factor of competitive advantage if you can reach out and, and have the best people and also have access to the latest development of the technology mm. because of course the company is now working on the product. The university is working on the technology, uh, being connected ensures that there is a feedback uh, on both sides and they improve uh, with respect to what they are doing. So definitely, yes, they're still working together and I think also successfully together. Of course, if you think of the choice, of the strategic choice of the company to have an open-ended uh, technology systems that goes on many, many bicycles and, and works under uh, a number of conditions, uh, we understand how IP is instrumental to the business model because all the OEMs, all the manufacturers of braking systems or gear shift systems are at the same time purchasers of the physical components, but also licenses of the intellectual property. So here IP, the patent portfolio is instrumental in 
uh, supporting this business model where the company is at the same time a licensor and a provider of a critical component that is co-designed and co-developed together with the with the OEMs and manufacturers. And also, I think it's important here to highlight the hands-on role of Innovia as a catalyst, as a company that accelerates the processes of technology transfer by combining all the ingredients and making sure that there is no sun into the wheels, making sure that everything moves smoothly and quickly towards, towards the market.